Hi Cancer! Your monthly general tarot cards reading by Emma for the month of February 2022. Four cards, or art, the usual spread representing four weeks and from a day. So, Cancer. Five of Cups for you. Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. And King of Cups. Your influencing energy is Eight of Wands. Okay, let me pay them first and then I'm going to comment on it. Sure. Five of Cups with Ten of Wands. Knight of Pentacles with the Sun, Ace of Cups with a Three of Swords, and King of Cups with a Nine of Swords for your Cancer. Um, Page of Cups and Eight of Wands. Now we are talking busyness, we are talking preparations, lots of communication here with the Eight of Wands. Something is in the air, something is in this phase of preparations. It, it will, it's supposed to land and uh, mark beginning of something that is grounded, something that will manifest, something that will be important, something that will build later on. But this is just a phase of preparation where you have to, okay, communicate, bring papers, bring documentation, send it, speak with people, you see what I'm saying? That was kind of earlier on and that sort of energy, very important for, for this month as well. You were very optimistic about what is going to be out of that what you do this eight of wands often brings hell of a busyness you know you've got your to-do list and it's you know hundreds things down there that you must do before things happen for you and you're diligent you will do it because you know this is all knowing i have to do it because everything stands here in order okay you will do it you are aware of it even if it's busy even if it's from early morning till late in the evening and you're calling and you're sending emails and you see what i'm saying you are kind of aware of it. You see um, very much opportunity for your happiness with it. This page of cups is like a child, you know, like the teenager one, um, kind of feeling that, yes, you have to do it because it will bring you some sort of happiness. But then next moment you are not really sure because, you know, that happy cup holds this fish, suddenly this fish, unbelievable. You know, it, it's not really real. Is it really what is going to happen or it's not going to happen? You know, that emotional volatility very much present with this energy. Though I really believe you wouldn't give up. You will diligently do that what is your to-do list, that what you have to do. But you will sway yourself, you know, believing, not believing, feeling good about that or doubting it. You are kind of in that sort of mode from earlier on, uh, Cancer. Um, that how you brought yourself into this month. And I really believe that, that is very much influential here first week okay it's not really happy week for you you will recall stuff from your past i mean you will reminisce it uh, you will uh, regret it something that you have done okay or you haven't done something that people did to you or some sort of failures you will evoke and you will chew it forever this is five of pentacles your outer energy you will show yourself depressed said um, all the time talking about what happened earlier on you did have troubles uh, people disappointed you people let you down whatever whatever on and on whining about difficulties sadness i, I don't um, it's not that i want to make mockery of depression really but it seems to me you are doing this to yourself and you don't have to do it you are making burden to yourself you are making it burden to yourself you cannot cannot get out of it you cannot lift yourself out of that past to just wave it goodbye to leave it behind and look into that what is happening right now. Current energies are quite fine. Your current life isn't bad. Okay, you can drop this load. Forget about what has been. Okay, till now. It was difficult. Okay, you are carrying it for a very long time. Perhaps with this ten of wands, it is something that you are carrying for a prolonged period of time. But it is past now. Drop it already. Okay, forget about it and move on. 
in that sense, your your first week of uh, February, you will all be again and again into that what was. It was difficult. Or you suffered. You see, you don't need to because you have things. You have current situation. You have something that is happening for you. And it's better drop that load called past already and move on. In that sense, I mean, if I, if I can give you advice. But I don't need to give you advice. I mean, these energies that are following here, okay, are saying just that. It seems to me... I mean, you had to go through, perhaps, reminiscing all this stuff from your past. Who said what? Who that did what? Why did you have to carry on your shoulders so and so much? Why you have to suffer? You will understand. I mean, you needed to understand, perhaps. And that is this the whole this week for you. Um, coming there but as i said second week is much better with this knight of pentacles with the sun card within you look look how bright and beautiful now second week for you is because now you do have different goal as i told you you do have current situation something just nice is happening for you whether it is relationship with another whether this is that is business partnership new job opportunity practical job that you have right now that you know that you can do and you can get your money and it's easy for you. There is nothing particularly with this night. This night has its job, has it that practical task, knows how to do that and just goes and do it. Get your money, you know, do your job, sell your, sell your product, get your money. Simple as that. There is no way that you can fail with this one. You see what I'm saying? That sort of certainty, that sort of groundness, it's impossible to fail. And perhaps that is why you are so happy. Now, failure is impossible in here. This is what you know how this is easy, even maybe boring. Just carry on, do things, and you get your money, you get your success, you are completing something that's your goal. There's no failure here. From now on, you do understand. You feel like a reborn. Things, it, it's a different life for you, you know, present now, that can go just the usual way, just mundane way, just things as usual. Nothing to interrupt, nothing to offend, nothing to trouble you, nothing to fail you, nothing for you to fail. Okay, the sun card is the beginning of a new life, a new beautiful, new happy life, new joyful life that you are seeing for yourself, feeling healthy okay this is much healthier state of mind much healthier state of being that's your vitality that's your joy enthusiasm that's the project that you have beginning of something that has started that's supposed to grow and develop you see what i'm saying by all means we are talking happy energy the sun card that's happiness day being certain that this is past it's over there's no failures here there's no failures possible at all but look, now, third week of uh, February, I think you're going to be emotional and you will be crying. Now, it might be some sort of love relationship. This is Cancer uh, energy, King of Cups. Maybe you did have another person, maybe Cancer as well, maybe Pisces, maybe Scorpio, okay? Somebody who you did have this emotional exchange with. I can call it relationship, love relationship, or maybe friendship, whatever that was. But emotional moment was with this person. And it seems to me you'll find yourself offended. This person will let you down. You expected much of love uh, or, or happiness or friendship, something nice. You expected beautiful emotions to come from this person, for this person to find it in you, okay? This exchange of emotions you did expect or you did have earlier on, but now there's disappointment that you are broken heart, that you are hurting here. You see what I'm saying? And it seems to me this Ace of Cups means emotions are overflowing. And with this broken heart, I really think that this week you might cry a lot. Okay, it's, it's kind of very unfortunate combination here this third week of February and being that you have this nightmare card again. Perhaps you are fearing that your partner is cheating on you. This isn't really cheating, but just you fearing, feeling that he might, that your partner might cheat on you. Your partner might leave you, might leave you for whatever reason. It's not cheating, but it's just like that. You're feeling that 
could happen because a knight of swords is projected fear it's your pessimistic point of view okay fearing that things could happen in a bad way you see what i'm saying and now you're crying and you are beating yourself and you're again depressed and tearful because you don't trust this person you can lose this person or in that sense it could be all just in your mind, just projected fear. Could be just that minor offense, just minor thing that this person said and you are blowing it out of proportion. Okay, no, my partner is going to leave me. No, my partner doesn't love me anymore. You see what I'm saying? Projected fear, a nightmare card. Nothing is there for real. It's all in all in your mind and you're projecting it and you're building on it and you are, you see what I'm saying? Scaring yourself in that sense. And perhaps offense, something did happen, but it was very, very minor. You just expanded it big time with these fears, with this pessimism, with these doubts in that sense. Nightmare for you. Uh, cancer by the end of the month as I said could be just something minor and meaningless you know but anyway try to enjoy yourself you've got this second week really beautiful one stick to it now if you want your private reading one like this one that you saw just now go to my description box below click on the fiber link and um, that will take you through your order 